Hello and welcome to the ultimate guide to banished mods. In this video I'll be going over what I personally believe are the best and most deserving mods made for what is probably my all time favorite village simulator banished. All these mods were created by the community and can be found in the description below as they appear. Now as a disclaimer some of these mods will not work with each other. There are many compatibility issues so take care when mixing them. And I will be splitting up the mods into two categories based on design and gameplay. Design mods will mainly purpose to add structures to the game, ranging from purely aesthetic to adding a new product and or resource. Perhaps the most popular mod to date is the Colonial Charter mod created by Black Liquid. This mod adds tons of new buildings and features that greatly extend the playtime of Banished. Currently, in the Excellent Adventure Edition, the Colonial Charter mod includes 30 new Colonial Era crops and buildings, as well as clothing, decoration, and animals. Next up, the Fountain mod, created by Cossacks, adds decorative fountains, a few new buildings, and best of all, a castle. Despite what the mod menu tells you, this one is compatible with the Colonial Charter mod. The Flattened Terrain tool, created by GimmeCat, does exactly what it describes. It allows players to completely flatten mountains or create land out of water but be careful as there is no way to undo this action. Next up is more terrain created by Cygnus54. This mod adds several new slightly adjusted map types as there's only so much you can do with the core game. But this ranges from things like um, watery swamps to very flat plains which I actually enjoy quite a bit because I like making large complex cities and those mountains and hills just tend to get in the way. Smaller Vendor Buildings by Alpha Kuchner <laughs> includes three new vendor buildings, smaller than the market, called the Hardware Store, General Store, and the Farm Stand. These buildings carry different resources and can generally be used sort of like the market, but in a smaller sense and a more limited sense, but does add to the gameplay. The next category is Gameplay Mods. These mods act to rework some of the core mechanics of Banish by slightly altering how the game is played. First up is the Better Fields mod, created by Raging Nonsense. This enhances stock fields, orchards, and pastures to be more forgiving and versatile. Easier and more forgiving placement also gives you larger max sizes and allows more workers per, per farm. Unlimited Mines and Quarries by Sharka allow both structures to be used indefinitely, which is nice if you wish to avoid giant holes all over your map. Mute Livestock by Gimme Cat removes all the noise created by your various farm animals. Uh, you can basically now listen to the sounds of the game without the random occasional mooing. I know some people don't like it. Some it's okay with. Better Harvesting by Avernakis makes farmers keep harvesting crops and orchards while laborers pick up the produce food, which makes harvesting much faster and more efficient since they don't have to waste time going back and forth uh, to the storage. Because often I, I like this one because a lot of times my crops die off in the winter. And this actually helps quite a bit. Hard Labor Mod by Dantira makes citizens carry 500% more, move 125% faster, and allow them to live 133% further from their jobs. Specialized Stockpiles created by Delver allows players to create a stockpile that only allows a single resource in each stockpile from stone, iron, firewood, and logs, I believe. Faster Roads by Voidus allows roads to be built two times faster for dirt roads and three times faster for stone roads. Most of these are available in the Steam Workshop and are easy to install, but for those who aren't, you can get them at banishinfo.com slash mods, and those files you just simply download and put in the win data file under your main banish folder. And then, like all the other mods, just go to the main menu and activate, and it should show the compatibility of the mods. So hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.